Right now, Alabama is the only state in the entire country that does not require safety regulations on our dams. Our state leaders also don't know where all of them are located or even their condition. Way 31's Heather Mathis is investigating tonight what risk this puts your family in. Are you living downstream of danger? Area engineers say that small dams on private property could be a disaster waiting to happen. Several years ago in Georgia, a small dam failed, killing 39 people. That same thing could happen here because no one knows where those dams are. We estimate there might be 2,200 dams that are in the state. Barbara Lehman works for the American Society of Civil Engineers, or ASCE. They estimate only 2% of our state's dams are federally regulated, like Gunnersville Dam, operated by the Tennessee Valley Authority. The rest, ew. We don't know. That means your neighborhood could be downstream of one on private property and state officials cannot inspect them to see if they're at risk for failing. We do not have an inventory, know where they are. Madison County engineer Richard Grace says his county is only aware of three dams and they maintain them, yeah, but I'm there are no set regulations on how they're inspected. There is no law that I'm aware of or county rules that would govern how a dam is constructed or maintained. ASCE estimates only one in five high hazard dams they know about receives any type of inspections. And there are hundreds, if not thousands, of smaller ones out there. What kind of threat and danger are we looking at here not knowing where they are? Um, I, I think we're, it's unknown. I think all of, the, all of the answers is we don't have any information that tells us any of those things that you are so high. I don't know how to evaluate the imminent danger. After the deadly dam failure in Georgia, their state put a dam safety program in place. Lehman says it shouldn't take loss of life to get our state leaders to acknowledge the lack of regulations. We have plans for tornadoes. We have plans for hurricanes. We have plans for fire drills in schools. But we really don't have a plan in place should one of these dams breach. ASCE has been slowly chipping away at the problem, working with other organizations using drone and satellite technology to help get an inventory together. It would be a wonderful thing if we had a plan we never had to use it. ASCE is hoping to get some legislation passed to help get the list together and create a dam safety program. In Huntsville, Heather Mathis, Way 31, Hometown News. Way 31 also reaching out to local lawmakers about this issue. Coming up tomorrow night, how one local lawmaker is taking action after our investigation. Watch that Friday at 10.